15 Sekunden. Ja, schauen wir mal. Ich kann schon was trinken wohl eben kurz noch mal. Mojang. Logo on a glass door for Zenimax. A man walks past posters for Dishonor. Logos for Arcane Austin and Turn 10. So, ich muss mal gerade mal. Okay, warum auch nicht? A statue of a llama sits in the lobby. Wallard portrays a sheep, creeper and an enderman. A man in a white collared shirt stands in an office. Hello, I'm Dennis Reese, executive producer of Minecraft Legends. And today we'd like to give you an insider's look at how we're building the PvP multiplayer experience in the game. Minecraft Legends is a new action strategy game set in a lush, dynamic world. It introduces epic storytelling, and you can form alliances with new and familiar Minecraft mobs to stop the invading piglins. Magnus Nedfors. Minecraft Legends will let you play the story-driven campaign as an online co-op experience together with your friends. And it will also feature a PvP gameplay mode where two teams with up to four players each works to destroy the opponent's team space. The game will support cross-platform play and online matchmaking. Gameplay, 3D top-down, real-time strategy. In order to create the best possible experience, we've partnered with Blackbird Interactive to develop the game. And it's been wonderful to see their commitment and focus on the Minecraft Lee universe. McKinnon-Peterson and Peter Gahn. It's so much fun to be working with Mojang Studios on Minecraft Legends. Here at Blackbird Interactive, we have a talented team of developers who are using our background in strategy games to bring a new and exciting experience to the Minecraft universe. We're super excited to share more details about PvP gameplay. They both smile. Five players sit side by side at PCs. Yulia Bokorova and Clark Allenby. There are some really cool features that make PvP unique. First off, players share their army and resources with their team. This means that individual players aren't able to win on their own. They must cooperate to be successful. Craig Lee and Nathan Rose. Communication is really important. And you can sort of really tell the teams that gel together because they naturally form roles at the beginning of the game. And as soon as we start, so. I start building. We already we have our favorite roles, but we change. Ach schon, was das ist, was halt ihr überhaupt von dem setzt? Also von. Moin. This means that each PVP session is different than the last. Then it's different. Ob sie besser aus als das alte Minecraft, aber es ist immer noch gleiche Art. Wo die Wälder sind, wo die Mountains sind, wo die Secrets sind, you know, wo die Tower sind. At dusk, Piglin Smokestacks spew Flames. In Minecraft Legends, the Piglins are an ever-present threat, and this includes PvP. The Piglins are on their own side. They're trying to kill both of you at the same time. So the opposing team is not the only thing you need to worry about. Beware of the Piglins! Julia reaches for Clark, who mimes cowering. In PvP, there's something for everyone. For players who like action, they can go to the enemy base. For players who enjoy exploration, they can search the world to find resources for their team, hidden treasure chests, or scout the enemy base. Miles Miller and Kelsey Gottschlich. Gathering resources to help the team out, that's super important. But whenever I get into a PvP match, the first thing I try to do is to track down the Regal Tiger. It's my favorite mob to ride because it's really fast, but it's also really cute. For players who like building, you can spend your time building defenses and upgrading your base because soon enough your enemy will attack and you need to be ready. <laughs> so the first thing I do when we start is everyone runs off. I open the map, see where the enemy base is. The first thing I build is what we call an upgrade tower, where it allows you to build upgrades. So I place that at the back, away from the enemy. So I really pride myself in making 
you know, impenetrable bases. A fortress is built. Since the goal of PvP is to destroy the opposing team's base, defending your own base is really important. You have to start with a lot of walls, a lot of towers, and some gates. After that, you can just add whatever you want, freestyle it a bit. I like to add different layers of walls, so my opponents have to find their way through to my base, almost like a maze. And then once those walls are up, I like to actually hide my ice traps behind them to catch enemies off guard. When it comes time to finally take out the other team, my favorite strategy is to make a forward camp just outside the enemy base. Then I get the biggest, strongest mobs I can as fast as I can and start sending them in. Then I can smash down the walls, take out their mobs, and claim victory. Kelsey flexes her arm. The real fun of PvP is creating a strategy, having a game plan, <laughs> deciding how you think you're going to crush the enemy, and then all of a sudden the hosts tell you... Oh, on here. The just built a redstone launcher. And you're like, I can't do my attack now. I've got well, to, like, build an anti-siege tower, which is an anti-air tower, to stop the redstone launchers. You just have to be constantly changing your tactics. And sometimes you're like, I have no idea what they're doing. And then you, you, soon, you certainly find out very quickly. Resources, or do I have a... Uh, uh, a while back, we had somebody on our dev team use a strategy where they built a bunch of what are called plank golems, which are archers. So they're very weak, but they do a high amount of damage. And he had 40 of them, and he just ran through our base, ran around our tower, and took out our entire tower with such a simple strategy. And that's why we still love playing it every day, because every game is different, you never know what's going to happen. Dawn breaks on the overworld. The blue well of fate glimmers on a hilltop. A player leads a horde of zombies in straw hats into a penguin base. During a siege, arrow golems pepper high stone walls. Another portal explodes, shaking the earth. Title appears, Minecraft Legends. A warthog stares down a free piglin. The largest piglin throws a small one. Text coming April 18th, 2023. The warthog runs after the small piglin, then returns with a blaze rod. A creeper trots in. Text pre order or play with Game Pass, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Unite the overworld. On the logo screen, text appears over Mojang. April 18th, 2023. Turn 10 Studios is circled. Supercars zip along a sunlit track. Text, Chris Asaki, Creative Director. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Asaki, and welcome to Turn 10 Studios. The team is hard at work bringing you the next generation of Forza Motorsport, built from the ground up to take advantage of the Xbox Series consoles. This is the most technically advanced racing game ever made. Today, I'm joined by some of our amazing team members to show you how we are making it look real, sound real, and feel real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, schau mal, wie macht das was aussieht, ja? Vintage muscle cars round a bend. Sleek supercars ride low to the pavement. In an office, a man in a button-down shirt stands behind a clapperboard. Text: Gabe Garcia, vehicle art director. At launch, Forza Motorsport features over 500 cars. 500 Autos, okay. Customized with more than 800 unique upgrades. This includes over 100 new to motorsport cars, the most modern race cars we've ever featured on our roster. Racing is violent. It's a battle on the racetrack. The advancements in our physics model are greater than Forza Motorsport 5, 6, and 7 combined. <laughs> This makes our driving experience more fun and rewarding in the way the car accelerates corners and brakes. Our materials and shaders are built from the ground up at higher resolutions and optimized for a cutting edge ray tracing experience. Our paints are sourced using a spectra photometer. It has a much more realistic light response across color, metal flake, and gloss. Damage and dirt buildup is unique to each car. It's now contextually aware and more localized. We simulate paint thickness, chipping, and directionality. Dirt accumulation is more realistic, gathering more in the low pressure areas like recesses 
and alcoves. These innovations tell the story of the work you put into a race and reflects the marks and battle scars of motorsport. Text, Chase Combs, Project Audio Director. This is our best sounding Forza Motorsport ever. And the first to be mixed natively for immersive audio formats like Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos. To create an immersive soundscape, each audio system has been rebuilt from the ground up to deliver a new level of sonic depth and authenticity for our players. Modifying car parts like your exhaust and turbo changed the car sounds in Forza Motorsport, just like it would in the real world. Every car now has a variety of sound possibilities based on the parts you've installed. Hardware Accelerated Convolution Reverb accurately reproduces how sounds in Forza interact within an acoustic space, dynamically adapting to its surroundings and creating a realistic and detailed soundscape. New features like our regional track announcer system and improved tire and suspension audio bring a new level of realism to the game. Hear Forza Motorsport like never before. Every tire squeal, every engine, lap after lap. A vintage BMW drives past. Text, Arthur Sheck, Director of Motorsport Content. Forza Motorsport launches with 20 environments, built from the ground up for this generation. You'll get to race on iconic fan favorites, as well as five all new to motorsport locations, including our first in South Africa, Kailami. We capture our environments to an incredible level of detail. When we reference a track, our team comes back with over three terabytes of highly detailed photogrammetry and laser scan data. Through the power of the Xbox Series consoles, we're able to use this data to draw up to 10 times more detail than previous generations. You'll see lush trees, dense grass and overgrowth vegetation. So, and a fully procedural cloud system that evolves organically. <laughs> Tracks look alive, sound alive, and feel alive with cutting edge visuals and crowds consisting of tens of thousands of fully animated 3D spectators who are always immersed in the pure spectacle of racing. For the first time in Ports of Motorsport, fully dynamic time of day with weather ensures a constantly evolving racing experience where no two laps are the same. Dynamic track temperatures, wet driving surfaces, and rubbering in ensure that no two laps are the same. I love the detail our talented team of artists have built into Kailami. On a cloudless day, supercars with rear spoilers weave past one another. Fast forward to night, and the vista is truly breathtaking. You can see the distant light glows of the city, a beautiful visual touch. Even the Kailami logo itself creates visual impact every time you see it, thanks to ray traced global illumination. Which simulates how hundreds da. of thousands of light beams accumulate da. as they bounce between the oh, We're rendering all our environments in 4K at 60 FPS with real-time ray tracing on track to create true-to-life reflections on all smooth mirror and flat glass surfaces. With the incredible detail and rendering features of our track environments, Forza Motorsport is truly a generational leap ahead with unmatched visual fidelity and authenticity. Mm -hmm. A Ford GT, Porsche Spider, and Saline S7 race on the Hakone track. Chris Asaki. Forza Motorsport is back. And it's our most comprehensive game ever. Mm -hmm. With over 500 cars oh, and 20 environments with more new race cars than ever before. You can experience all of this in our incredible new online racing mode and in our all new car building focused single player career. We cannot wait for you to get your hands on this incredible game. Chris smiles and gestures emphatically. A Jaguar Eliminator bumps an opponent. Track railings are reflected mm. in the driver's helmet. Logo for Forza Motorsport. Text. Coming 2023 to Xbox Series X and S and PC. Make every lap count. Ja, und neuen äh, Autoübersetzer, ne? On the logo screen, text appears over turn 10, coming 2023. Tango Gameworks is circled. A self-destruct alarm flashes. A teen boy scrambles away. Okay. That's me. And you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Well, it's pretty standard. The tape rewinds. Check this out. Well. Das haben wir auch schon gehabt. It's powering up my new robot arm. 
Das ist ja auch wie Transformers, ey, gerade. Das ist eine Szene, ey. <lacht> Hm. What in the hell am I looking at? The name's Chai, not Defect. Is this the guy? The team, Chai, slashes at a robot. We'll take down this company. One boss at a time. Chai faces down a mechanoid black wolf in a lobby. Just so you know, they're insane. Na ja, gut, das ist nicht ganz mein Fall, so spielen, so spielen, das ist nicht ganz meine Richtung. Exclamations appear over oh, player okay. actions. Text from the makers of the evil within, seriously, and the makers of the evil within too, <laughs> naturally. Title: Hi-Fi Rush. Profession: Rockstar. Future Rockstar. Chai shoots a finger gun at an unamused robot. <laughs> I'm Shinji Mikami, studio head at Tang Game Works. Thank you for all your support. Over the years. And I'm John Johannes, director on Hi-Fi Rush. Sieht aus wie Jet Set Radio, um ganz neu es zu sein, ne? Diese uh, Cell Shading Grafik. Well, I gotta say, I never would have thought of a game like this. I'm really excited for what the team has created. In the Tango office, a digital artist fills in textures. So everyone thinks of us as putting out horror games like The Evil Within or spooky games like Ghostwire Tokyo, but this is clearly something totally different. <laughs> and if this game hasn't already leaked, <coughs> fingers crossed, we hope it's a pleasant surprise. Well, we're rushing it soon, because we've actually just done some horror games, and that sees that we're just ready for it. Quite honestly. John looks at Shinji. Subtitles. The whole team is excited too. So we've been waiting for this for a long time. So let's jump in and explain exactly what Hi-Fi Phoenix Clamps release on thin limbs. Chai, wearing a hospital gown, awakens on a platform tipping to one side. It suddenly flings him into a fence. <laughs> Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm action game. So it's a bit of a twist on your traditional action game. Here, your moves and attacks help create a Ach so, sound sound effect. Okay. Combos add a layer to the music. Hm, habe ich schon gehört, gab's schon, aber. Hm. Ich better you can connect your attacks and abilities. You are in total control during combat, but everything you do syncs up like an awesome music video. Das wird mit Gläsern gesehen, wa? Was machen? A wannabe rockstar, victim of a weird corporate experiment that lets him sense the rhythm of the entire world pulsing to the game soundtrack. Chai traverses platforms that raise and lower to the beat. Das ist Environment, das bewegt sich zur Musik. Your attacks will automatically sync to land on the beat, making Hi-Fi Rush a super easy game to start playing. However, attacking on the beat leads to combos that end with a musical count. Leider ist die Grafik auf dem Stream schlechter als die Grafik, was man sehen kann. Leider. In der Übertragung. Ne, würde mich wundern. Landing beat hits unleash a combo finish that adds unique musical flair and high damage attacks. And the crowd goes wild. Chai, Chai, Chai. <laughs> On a stage, Chai cups his ear to a crowd. In a courtyard, two robots watch him mime cheering. Oh, uh. Chai looks sheepishly at a dead robot. Anyone see the guy that did this? How about we see it all in action? <laughs> Chai is launched into the air over an ultra bright multicolored city. He lands on a rooftop and is attacked by four white robots. You're never restrained by the That's so cool, I feel like it's an extreme bit too schlecht. Using whatever attacks you want. It's not about mashing buttons. The key here is feeling the beat. A black cat robot head floats around Chai. Mm -hmm. A combo meter timeline appears with quick time events to press X and Y in <laughs> sequence. Your progress isn't blocked by missing the beat, but you get rewarded musically and mechanically for staying in rhythm. Okay. Chai swings so sehr an uh, verschiedene Spiele. When we say everything moves to the beat, we mean And beat Spiele natürlich Beat Saver oder halt um, Metal Helsing sehr. You name it. 
It all syncs to the music, creating an ongoing jam session of a game. <laughs> the black cat transforms. To help out is 808, the <laughs> robot cat companion who literally hovers over your shoulder and helps you find that rhythm. But we also have visual guides to help you even more. A cat icon pulls Kann interessant sein, auf jeden Fall. Auch vom Stream bestimmt, aber das ist die Frage mit der Musik, ne? Oder Copyright-mäßig, das ist schwierig. Chai also gets by with a little help from his friends. Literally. A teen girl frees Chai from a rope. <laughs> Get up, slacker. We've got work to do. Chai will team up with unlikely allies who expand his repertoire to use both in and out of combat. Peppermint <laughs> breaking barriers and juggling enemies, along with Macaron smashing enemy armor and knocking back enemies. Tag teaming with Chai's partners in attacks. Hey, sieht auf jeden Fall interessant aus, ne? Aber was meint ihr? Was haltet ihr davon? Es ist so... Zehn? The extra help is handy. Because when you're not fighting, you're going to be running around and wreaking havoc all over Vandalay's corporate headquarters. <coughs> everything is trying to take you down. You and your partners have a singular goal in mind. <coughs> Taking down the bosses of Vandalay Technologies. Besides wanting to erase Chai for being a defect, it seems they've got something a little bit more sinister on their corporate agenda. You'll fight through each department to take them all on. Each level with their own musical spin on the rock genre. Okay. And then... We have a showdown. A burly woman with a gold belt lands in an arena. So let's get ready to crumble. Boss <laughs> battles are climactic set pieces, varying from straight up fights and musical minigames to chase sequences. Custom choreographed to licensed music from amazing artists. Text, Nine Inch Nails, The Black Keys, The Prodigy, The Joy Formidable and... Oh, yeah, that's the problem, because when we stream, we have uh, copyright problems. It's echt a problem then, It's a high energy, feel good rhythm action experience that's amazingly satisfying to play. Chai swipes an electric guitar through a robot, which explodes with the word boom. <laughs> Pretty rock star move, Chai. Chai fist bumps the cat 808. Title, Hi-Fi Rush. <laughs> Subtitles, I don't think anyone would say, Hi-Fi Rush is too scary. If so, I'm doomed. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand you have a few more surprises. For example, you can pet the cat, right? Subtitles. Obviously, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, how about we tell them the other real surprise? It's your game, John. You tell them. So, not only we're super psyched for you to play this, we're happy to tell you that you can play Hi-Fi Rush tonight. It's a demo. Okay. Seriously. It launches on Xbox and PC a few hours after the show, and yes, it'll be on Game Pass as well. Okay. We hope you enjoy playing it. Shinji and John pump their fists. <laughs> Am I doing it right? Yeah, you're great. <laughs> the teen girl with mechanical legs fires a massive laser beam. You looking for me? Yeah, the problem is, man can't stream, no? That's the problem there. With the music. Do you mind if I join? Does that mean I have to fight? I believe it does, sir. How about <laughs> Chai is punched through glass? Yeah. A glamorous blonde woman struts onto a dance floor. This is <laughs> You're going out <laughs> with the trash. The unamused robot hands Chai a badge. Here's, Here's your project from Strong Pass. And welcome to Vandalay Campus. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Text Hi Fi Rush for Xbox Series X and S and PC. Play with Game Pass today. Boom. On the logo's screen, text appears over Tango Gameworks. Play today. Zenimax Online Studios is circled. In a candlelit cavern, robed men carry a sarcophagus. A horned okay. creature looks up. Diablo? Nein, kann ich sein. Title: The Elder Scrolls Online. Mhm, alles wunderschön. Matt Fireor. Welcome to Hunt Valley, Maryland, and the headquarters of Zenimax Online Studios. You just saw a cinematic teaser for The Elder Scrolls Online's next chapter. I'm pleased to reveal ESO Necrom, which will launch in June Necrom. and is shaping up to be one of the best updates to the game ever. 
If you watch the teaser closely, you saw that Necrom will include one of the most requested features in ESO, a new playable class called the Arcanist. It's only our third new class since launch, and we know you're going to love okay. it. The Arcanist wields magic influenced by forbidden knowledge and has unique abilities never before seen in this world. Of course, the experience of exploring a new area of Tamriel is the heart of every ESO chapter. Necrom will unfold in Eastern Morrowind, not seen in an Elder Scrolls game since 1994, okay. where you will meet new characters and enemies, <coughs> unite with some old friends, and explore a story based around the return of a well-known Daedric Prince you just might remember from the Dragonborn Skyrim DLC. For those of you new to ESO, we release a new expansion called a Chapter every year. Chapters are essentially standalone games in ESO that let you adventure in a new mm -hmm. region of Tamriel. But you don't have to wait for the Necrom chapter to jump in. We've got so many amazing experiences you can enjoy right now. Oh, yes, up yes. Games like Skyrim and Oblivion. Okay. You'll feel right at home amongst the thousands of stories unfolding across every region in ESO. And as anyone who's played a classic Elder Scrolls game knows, it's all about those feelings when you're fully immersed in the world. Remember that feeling when you first encountered a dragon? We've got an entire province that's overrun by dragons. Hmm. You questioned if you were capable of taking down a frost troll in Skyrim? Try it for yourself in ESO. Hmm. What about the moment you visited a city in Morrowind that was built inside the shell of a giant crab? Okay. For the Oblivion fans out there, how about another chance at taking on the colossal Daedric Prince Mehrunes Dagon. The giant Dagon smashes a player. Just like any single player <laughs> Elder Scrolls game, you can have a blast simply by following the main quest okay. line. Or seek out lore and learn more about the world. Become a craftsman. Go fishing. Decorate and furnish your home. Uh, uh, Customize your character. Play it like an action RPG. And when you're ready, you can easily engage in one of the best open world PvP systems. Run dungeons co-op with your friends for great loot. Or just join a guild to chat with others. The possibilities in this virtual world are endless. New players will immediately feel right at home. Okay. Because our community is one of the most, if not the most, welcoming on the planet. We invite everyone who has not yet experienced ESO to give it a try and create your own stories in our shared world. There's no required subscription and thousands of hours of content to dig into solo or with friends. Explore nearly every corner of Tamriel with no level restrictions. It's magical being able to travel almost anywhere you please from the moment you enter the world. ESO is available on PC and Mac in addition to previous and current gen consoles including a purpose-built next-gen version for the Xbox Series X and S, okay, that's good. high fidelity graphics, and enhanced performance modes. An added bonus for Xbox players, it's on Game Pass. Hmm. And starting today, awesome, yeah. for a limited time, we're making all past chapters available to explore for any player, so everyone can test drive all of our adventures, including our take on Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion, and much, much more. <laughs> At Zoss, we have so many passionate and talented developers who continue to add to Elder Scrolls lore by producing okay. handcrafted <laughs> epic adventures, and I'm immensely proud to be a part of it. Wait for the team to show it all to you. Join us after this show for the 2023 ESO Global Reveal, where we'll go deep into all things Nephon. Okay. Thanks. See you in Tamriel. Ich mach mal das mal. Releasing June 5th, 2023 for PC and June 20th for Xbox Series X, S and Xbox One. On the logo screen, Arcane Austin is circled. Below a red moon, a dozen people float around a lighthouse. Text Bethesda Softworks. Something evil. Es kommt red red voll, ne? Corpses litter a mansion. Text Arcane Austin. Nobody ever believes things can get this bad until it happens. Then it's too late. But there are people who can fight back. Stick together! Awesome. A young woman charges while holding a ghostly purple umbrella in front of herself. Gameplay, first person shooter. Text Harvey Smith, <laughs> director. Welcome to Redfall, Massachusetts. 
where the calm seas and sunny skies have been eclipsed by a legion of vampires. Okay. Redfall is a sport of its heart, which can be played single player or co-op with up to four players. Choose your hero, each with their own unique abilities, and form the perfect vampire slaying squad to take back Redfall's haunted streets. The player bayonets a vampire. Text Ben Home, production director. Mm -hmm. At Arcane, we make games where the world itself is as important as the characters. Jetzt schon über den Jungen schon 30 Minuten fast. Exciting step forward, building a lovely <coughs> detailed open world to deliver our largest setting ever. Every inch of our open world is carefully handcrafted and packed with environmental storytelling. Explore the streets of a quaint island town. From the once bustling downtown to the haunted forest to the decimated seaside boardwalk and gorgeously detailed landmarks. A solar eclipse shines red behind a lighthouse. But it's not all danger all the time. There are safe places on the island where you can rest up, chat with survivors and... Okay. Here we're at the fire station, one of your home bases. This is one place you'll receive missions from survivors. Okay. There's something I need you to do. The old lighthouse in the bay. It's been used for over a century to keep boats away from the coastline. If we turn it back on, it's a warning to anyone trying to come to Red mm. right now. Easy, right? Well, the lighthouse keeper is a real asshole. Joined up with those cold and put the damn lamp with. Go on, Bert. The player sends a spectral raven flying forth, then activates optical camouflage. Here's a vampire known as the Shroud. Shrouds blanket the area in darkness, disorienting their prey. They hurl lethal projectiles and can even shift through the floor to avoid damage. The enemy shroud trails red clouds behind her. The player switches from a double-barreled shotgun to an assault rifle. The shroud dangles in midair, exposing a glowing rib cage, which the player shoots with a sawed-off. At night, the player approaches an unlit house carrying a shotgun. The circle of their bright flashlight illuminates boarded up windows, destroyed furniture, and crimson writing scrawled on the floor. The blood is a part of me, and I am the blood. Up a clean white staircase, a wall on the second story bears the same crimson writing. <coughs> the player breaks through a boarded up doorway. Das heißt, wir haben was so recht voll noch, ne? Schön. Blue flasks, then turn back. A vampire clad in a red trench coat slashes his claws. The player shoots him in the legs, then runs out past him. The player swaps to a triple-barreled heavy weapon, and an incendiary round turns the vampire to embers. <coughs> At the lighthouse, the player activates optic camouflage as they open the door. A hovering vampire in the middle of the room floats straight past him. The player ascends a spiral staircase and a ladder <coughs> to the level. In the empty reflectors, a prompt appears. Place lighthouse bulb. The lighthouse is back up, but there's more waiting for you. Taking down vampires angers the vampire gods, who will summon the rook to take you down. Okay. Red light yeah. strikes the parking lot outside the lighthouse. A brawny vampire rises to his feet. <laughs> Text. Aaron Carter, lead producer. Let's transition to what you'll find outside of the main story missions. There's so much waiting for you. Redfall is filled with encounters that can pop up anywhere, like this brewery that's fallen under cultist control. Save the locals from being offered to the vampires. Mm -hmm. Like our past games, you can approach a mission in many different ways. And the night, the player headshots a guard with a silenced pistol. Street lamps illuminate an old American neighborhood. Always be ready to improvise. Remy uses her combat robot Bribon to help distract and eliminate the cultists. A dog-sized robot runs up and waves an LED light wand over its head. We got him, Bribon. The player shoots a man holding a megaphone with a scoped rifle, <laughs> then he moves up to the stonewalled brewery. Blood runs in rivulets down the doorway. She climbs an adjacent ladder to a rooftop, where three corpses in tactical armor lie beside dripping writing on a wall. The blood. She loots a duffel and pulls out a Causeway semi-automatic shotgun with a wooden stake bayonet. Along the rooftop, 
the player finds a doorway into the top level of the brewery. Yep. She downs a cultist with her silenced pistol, then drops onto an upper walkway. Behind her, <laughs> a figure with red sacks on its back explodes into a cloud of blood. The player shoots a barrel, causing a fiery explosion to kill a second one. She vaults to the lower level and shotguns three foes. Okay. Everyone's safe. Let's move on. A man in a jacket looks nervously around, then stands. Exploring Red Ball will take you beyond the bounds of reality as you investigate otherworldly psychic spaces to unravel the vampire secrets. Take this vampire nest. These deadly layers change. Ist schon cool, ne? Aber die Grafik ist nicht so berauschend, fand ich für dich. Ich habe schon bessere Grafik gesehen. Aber ist okay. Aber wahrscheinlich wird schnell sein, mit 60 PS oder sowas oder 120 hier in dem. On a road winding through the cave, the player shoots a blue beam at attacking vampires. His teammates join him. To destroy a nest, you have to take out its heart and all of the vampires willing to die to protect it. Horrible way to die. A giant pulsing heart is suspended on tendrils above a town square. When the player cuts a tendril, several vampires rush in to attack the team. <laughs> <laughs> the player loads a wooden stake and shoots the heart. What just happened? Now escape the nest before it comes crashing down. It'll collapse any second. The player shoots and loots their way out of the crumbling cavern. <laughs> Nests aren't the only psychic spaces. You'll find dangerous pockets all over the island. It's all vampire turf, so tread carefully. Wie gesagt. The player is yanked toward a scarlet-haired vampire. Text: Karen Cigars, Art Director. Also die Grafik sieht nicht so gut aus, finde ich. Ich habe mir erwartet von der Grafik, aber ich denke, es wird schön flott sein, auf jeden Fall die Grafik, aber ich habe schon besser gesehen, also doch Shooter Grafik. Aber warum nicht? Was anderes. Aber richtig, das ist richtig, das nicht. Äh, hm. Auch so, dass das Spiel habe ich doch nicht gesehen, leider. Ist schade, aber ist so. Each hero can take on any situation. Each brings powerful, unique abilities to the fight, and the upgrades you choose change how they play. Here, Layla's lift ability can be upgraded to launch teammates for airborne attacks. Upgrade Layla's umbrella ability with bullet hail to absorb enemy bullets and release the energy back at them. In a graveyard, the player, Layla, conjures a ghostly purple umbrella which blocks enemy fire. It bursts toward her opponents and she follows up with a revolver. A gnarled tree dissolves into orange embers. There are many ways to customize your hero's ability tree to match your playstyle. Hmm. The player unlocks extended magazine on a spectral sniper rifle. Okay. Another unlocks ultraviolet light on a blacklight device. Let's hit on the arsenal. There's a wide range of weaponry from military gear to new vampire slaying inventions, from shotguns to sniper rifles. A rifle has an outer well, casing well. made of flesh lashed over human bones. And of course, <laughs> there's also vampire stakes. Find these in the world to customize your weapons. A broken off guitar neck, a crucifix, and a blacked out tactical knife are affixed as rifle bayonets. <laughs> well, this is from the center of the weapon, but... ...to stake a vampire through the heart. <coughs> when you reclaim Often significant crafting. sections of Redfall, the last step is to face the underboss who controls, or used to control, that neighborhood. Underbosses are powerful elites of the vampire gods, with their own unique abilities, like this one's shield. When you prove yourself against the underboss, you'll receive a key of sorts. A skull that gets you one step closer to facing the ultimate threat, the vampire god. In a cavern, a humanoid monstrosity swipes at the players from a pit in the ground. Text, Harvey Smith, studio director, <laughs> Ricardo Bear, creative director, and Susan Kath, business director. Thank you for visiting Redfall. And thank you for all the support you've shown Arcane throughout the years. We sometimes mm -hmm. joke that our games can be tough to define. The one thing that's consistent? We make the kinds of games we love to play. And that's how Redfall was born. We blended everything we love here at Arcane Austin. Immersive open worlds, unique and customizable heroes, 
RPG and FPS gameplay. And of course, our signature storytelling and rich world building. Along with our spin on one of the most classic monsters of all time, vampires. It's been amazing to see how all of us have pulled together to deliver our vision for something new. Redfall is the biggest, most <laughs> ambitious game we have ever made. Our teams dove head first into this new opportunity, and we can't <clears throat> wait for you to experience Redfall for yourself. Thankfully, you won't have to wait too much longer. Redfall's coming on May 2nd. May 6th, the 3rd of May. And we'll see you soon in Redfall. Layla's purple lift sends the player arcing onto a platform where they lob an explosive. Red text, bite back. Mutilated vampires contort. The player bayonets one in the chest. Before a red eclipse, a cloaked vampire tips its head back. Text, Redfall, on Xbox Series X and S and PC. Releases May 2nd, 2023. Play or play with Game Pass. Bite back. Okay, I'll show them On the logo screen, text appears over Arcane Austin. May 2nd, 2023. An icon for outro sizzle.mp4 is clicked with a cursor. Yeah. A garage door slides open on a BMW Mission 8. Let's end up. A vampire hunter team clears a mansion. Chai walks through a city. Three, two, one. Chris Asaki twiddles his fingers. Uh... Text, <laughs> April 18th. Hello. It's so much fun to be working with Mojang Studios on Minecraft Legends. Players lead a raid on another player's walled fortress. Ah, no. Title, Forza Motorsport. This is our best sounding Forza Motorsport ever. Yeah, that was all right. <coughs> Hi-Fi Rush, play today. Shinji Mikami plays an air guitar. Shinji and John pointed us. Chai leaps and smashes a robot. Title, The Elder Scrolls Necron, June 20th. The many eyes of Hermaeus Mora stare. Thanks, and see you in Tamriel. Title, Redfall, May 2nd. A player bayonets a vampire. Susan Khan with fake vampire teeth. All right, let's do this. Piglins sprint. Cars zip along a track. Chai pumps his fists. Text. 2023 <laughs> Minecraft Legends, April 18th, 2023. Redfall, May 2nd, 2023. Forza Motorsport, coming 2023. And Hi-Fi Rush, play it's today. Okay. okay, das war ja alles soweit klar, dass es kommt, ne? Das war klar, vielleicht kommt noch was Kleinigkeit, aber ich glaube nicht dran. Da glaube ich alles. Das war's, glaube ich. Kein Bild mehr. Okay. Ja, das lassen wir jetzt mal weg. Take this. So, dann schalte ich mal wieder um. In den normalen Bildschirmaufnahme nicht, sondern Spielaufnahme. Und Start. Eigentlich müsste noch offen sein, ne? Ne, ist nicht offen. Muss ich einfach rüberpacken hier. Das machen wir jetzt mal zu.